You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Don't act like you don't. Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. I quite literally grew my channel based on my perfume videos because I'm a perfume girl. I love a good perfume. You know what I mean? So I have some new fragrances for like, let me preface this by saying if I've mentioned a fragrance in the past, I have a fragrance video that I think is one of the best doing videos on my channel. And it's all about fall fragrances. I still wholeheartedly stand behind every single one of those fragrances in that video. But all these are brand new. I have five to talk about today. And I am absolutely so excited about each and every single one of them. Specifically two that I'm just like absolutely to die for. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So as always, these will be linked down below. I'm going to be talking about the notes of them. How I smell or how like they smell to me. And like the sort of like vibe and experience behind them. And I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I'm just kind of excited to, like, tell you guys a little bit about them and what, like, my opinion is. So, these are my go-tos, and I could not start this video without talking about this fragrance. I am so proud of Stephanie for this. I'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere. This is the Letta 22 Oris fragrance from Stephanie Letta. So, she created this, and uh, I got an email one day, actually, that was talking about um, this fragrance, and... They were like, hey, we want to gift this to you. We want to send you this fragrance. And I saw it. and I, Or I didn't see it, but I saw the email and I literally yelled. I was like, I know that if Stephanie's coming out with a fragrance, that it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I actually met her. Well, I didn't. I have never like met her in real life. But I actually like got to speak with her through, I believe it was my fragrance video, I want to say. Um, my like fall fragrance video. So I've always watched her. So I've watched her for a billion years. So to see her do this and to come out with this fragrance is just... I'm just so proud. Like I've been, like I said, never met her in real life, but I'm just so proud to have been able to speak with her and like know how much work she's put in and know how much has gone into this. I watched the video about her making the fragrance and why it's called 22 Auris and just like everything about that. So if you haven't seen the video, make sure to go watch it. But I actually got this from my friend too for her birthday, my James, Kaylin, you know. So anyways, this is, first of all, let's talk about the packaging. Absolutely beautiful, stunning packaging. It's heavy. It feels like wealth. It feels like She's got money. You know what I mean? Like, whoever is wearing this is, like, feeling some type of way about herself. She's got her crap together. The base, one of the base notes, I believe, is Marshmallow Musk. Or it's Marshmallow. But for me, personally, I've said this a thousand times on this channel. Fragrances do not stick well to my skin. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm cursed because for somebody who loves fragrance as much as I do, they tend to not stick to my skin, which I find extremely rude and offensive. However, if it has a marshmallow base, one some that have marshmallow bases are Killian Princess um, and also Killian Love Don't Be Shy, or Don't Be Shy by by him. This the marshmallow base in this makes it stick on my skin. I feel some type of way when I wear this fragrance. Literally, like every single I wish I was joking. Every single day since I got this in the mail, I have been wearing it, and as soon as I run out, I'll be wearing buying it immediately, if not sooner. Immediately, when I get half a bottle, like I'm a, I'm one of those people that's like. I need to hoard up. I need to not ever run out of this because it smells that good. The sort of vibes that this gives me is niche fragrance. It's not anything that you could walk into Sephora and just pick off the shelf and be able to buy. It's not something, what it reminds me of is it's like, it's not, it's not the everyday like Lancome La Vie Belle. It's not um, Marc Jacobs Daisy. It's not Hermes Twilly or whatever the heck it's called. It's not any of those vibes. It is a niche fragrance that's like whenever you walk by somebody, people want to be like, what is that? Because I've never smelled that before. Sort of vibes. It's just an elegant, classy, beautiful, feminine, sexy, strong, confident fragrance. It is just, if you could bottle up like Marilyn, I don't want to say Marilyn Monroe because she's a little risque. You know what I mean? Like she's just wilding out a little bit. But like her ambiance, her elegance, but her like also playful, sexy side. If you could bottle up like her as a fragrance in modern day time, this is kind of what it reminds me of. It is sophisticated enough to wear to your workplace and like wear every day, but it's just playful and sexy enough that it's like you want to wear it out on date night and he's not going to stop smelling you. He's not going to do it. I wore this to the movies mixed with um, Diamond Pink Pepper from Kayali and Chase, my boyfriend. The, I swear to you for probably 47 times throughout the movie, he was like, you smell so good. And I was like, thank you. There is just something about it. That's just completely different than any other fragrance I've ever smelled in my entire life. I want to, like, I try not to wear it every single day because I'm like, I have so many different fragrances. Like, let me change it up. I can't. I, I physically am unable to not put the bottle down. Like, I can't put it down. 
everything about it, the dry down, the way that it smells different from whenever you spray it to the time that it like meshes with your pH balance in your body. It just has a beautiful scent. And it kind of gives me like slinky dress vibes, not in a jazz club, like black dress sort of vibes. But like you're going out on a date night and you're wearing like a champagne colored cow neck dress or top, but I'm feeling like a dress. And you have on a pair of heels that you've been wanting to take out for a long time. You know, maybe you've got yourself some, I don't know, some new Jimmy Choo's, some Manolo's. You've got a pair of like really nice heels and it's like quiet luxury. Like this, that's just the sort of vibe that this fragrance gives me is quiet luxury. That's just like, you know, you got money and everybody can look at you and tell you you have money, but it's like wealth is wealth whispers. You know what I mean? Like this is a wealth whispering fragrance. Confidence is quiet and securities are loud. So it's a wealth whispering confidence is quiet sort of fragrance. It's like, I don't need to over explain myself. I don't need to like over exert myself. When I show up, you know that I look good. You know that I smell good. I carry myself in an elegant and classy way. Um, and I own things. It's like, you know, those people who are like, where the heck did they get all that money? Like, how do they have that much money? Like, there's people who are like lawyers and doctors or whatever and they have a good amount of money, you know? And then there's people that's like, how'd you do that? Like, did you win the lottery 17 times? They're like, what's going on? You know what I mean? This is one of those fragrances, but it's also so pretty. Like, it's pretty enough to wear as your like everyday fragrance. Okay, I've talked about that fragrance a billion and ten times. Stephanie, I am so proud of you for this. It is phenomenal. This is one of the best, most feminine beautiful fragrances i've ever smelled in my entire life congratulations on making something that is so innovative on something that is first of all absolutely beautiful packaging something that lasts on the skin and just is absolute quality it is wonderful i die for it so major congratulations on this i'm so proud um to even like have this in my hands so that's my number one for fall and winter months but also just any time but it's just can you tell i like it be honest Okay. Okay, next up we have this fragrance, which it took me a full day and a half to feel the way that I feel about this fragrance. Okay, once I talk about it, you'll know what I mean. So this is from the, from the brand Commodity. This is the Milk fragrance. I don't know what made me put, buy this. I think it was the notes that were listed on um, Sephora. I bought it during the Sephora sale. I'm mentioning it after this because I wear these two together every single day of my life. Literally, since I got both of them, I think I got them both on the exact same day. I wear them together. I wear one or the other in the morning or the evening, but every single day I have both of those on my body. So the notes for this, and I kept this because I was like, I want people to be able to read that or like to hear this. It says, an opaque white liquid rich in sweet creams and fresh woods. Seeking comfort in the familiar, this creamy and calming scent offers a perfect start to the day. And then it says, we created this space, scent space to give you greater control over the intensity and projection of your scent. Each commodity fragrance is available in three different scent space concentrations. Personal, expressive, and bold. So this one is an expressive one. So it says, the expressive collection is considered by many to be the perfect balance of longevity and projection. These fragrances will make a statement without over, overpowering any space. To be noticed by you and the many around you. So, listen to this. It's insane, okay? So the first, like, notes that you get are cold milk accord, skin musk. And I read that and I thought, y'all are playing tricks on me, you dirty, rotten people. When I tell you that no tricks are being played, when I tell you that fully what you smell is, like, cold milk and skin, and you'll be like, why on God's green earth would I want to smell like cold milk and skin? I don't rightly know. I truly don't rightly know, but some about it, okay, hear me out, some about it do be smelling so good. So then it says Tonka Bean and Warm Marshmallow, okay, we know that I'm a marshmallow girl. Then Mahogany Wood, and I'll be danged if that ain't exactly what it smells like. It's like literally first, you get the, you get like cold milk, not skim, not 1%, not 2%, whole milk, baby, whole milk from the cow. And it's like, wait a minute, why did... Like, I am smelling milk, but I'm also smelling the scent of skin. And I don't mean, like, I mean familiar people. You know, whenever you're around, like, your mom or, like, your family members or, like, your significant other, and they just smell like them, and it's, like, a very comforting scent, and it's, like, that's just, like, a home place for me. Like, it's just comforting. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like comfort. It smells like you 
or with people you love and it's just like a my best way to describe this is you know how like they say scents carry like the most memory to me this is comfort in a bottle this is everybody that i love wrapped up in one room in a blanket not like all one blanket but like you get the vibes and you've maybe like been baking cookies all day or it's like it's christmas break you're off from school you're off from work whatever you're having family time You've had just like great meals all day long. The kitchen smells so nice. You've had candles burning. There's cookies. There's cake. There's all sorts of like sweet desserts and treats. You've had such a lovely day. Your heart is so full from seeing all the people that you love. This, that feeling is this smell. The feeling of having your heart be so full and like love all those people around you is the smell of this. It is... The marshmallow in there is like all the sweet treats. The skin musk is like the love that you feel for like everybody that you're around and how heart, or how, how full your heart feels. The cold milk is like the Christmas cookie sort of vibe. That's just like that very first thing you smell and you're like, wait a minute, why do it be smelling like milk? But for some reason it really works and smells amazing. And then you have the tonka bean, which just like warms it up, but in like a sexy way. So it's like you, you want to wear this fragrance and it's not a body spray sort of thing. It is a very much so a perfume. It is very much so like something that's expressive, like an expressive perfume. But it's not in a Sol de Janeiro body spray or like a um, Bath and Body Works body spray kind of way. It's in a sexy kind of way. That Tonka Bean brings it an element of elegance and of like just you want to wear this fragrance sort of vibes. And then the mahogany wood is like the base note gives it, I don't want to say woody because it's not a sandalwood and I feel like a lot of people get confused by that, but it's mahogany and it's just like, when I think of mahogany, I think of like, um, like a really dark hallway that's just like wood from floor to ceiling or like a darker kitchen, of like a grandmother's kitchen that's like she got old money. Biltmore, I think of the Biltmore house. How everything in there is like dark and woody, but it's very elegant and like old money, very like wealthy sort of vibes. The way that this smells dried down, and even my mom, like, hates all my fragrances. She's like, you like manly scents, whatever. She likes Marc Jacobs Daisy, if it tells you anything about her. You know what I mean? No shade to my mom, but, like, a little bit of shade, because what are you doing? This smells like home. It smells like Christmas break. It smells like coming home to the people you love. It smells like glorious, sexy, but I'm, like so happy. It smells like happiness. Like, it just smells, it's like bottled freaking happiness. Um, I am indeed lactose intolerant, so that's funny, but, you know, whatever. Also, the bottle's just sexy and sleek. Like, I love this look, and then I pair these two together every single day, and it's the perfect mesh between, like, I'm a sexy, elegant um, woman, and I'm happy and joyful in my heart. So, there's that. Um, those are my top two. Those are my fragrances that it's like, if you're going to pick two fragrances for the fall and winter, if you're going to buy anything, buy those fragrances it's phenomenal. I'm baffled at the smells of those actually. And like, I just feel like anytime that I wear that, I just have like a little, like my shoulders are, are back a little bit more. My back is straighter, you know, like I'm just like, mm, I am feeling some type of way about myself if we're all being honest with each other. So that's that. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. My left, my right foot was going fully numb. So I need to drink a coffee for that one. Sorry. Anyway, so, that being said, let's move on to these other three fragrances, which will go a little bit faster. So, right here, I have, um, what do I want to do first? Do I want to do this? Yes. Okay, so I picked this up. This is the Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry. I picked this up, I think, during, like, the last Sephora sale. Not this one that was most recent, but the one before. I love anything Kaoli does. Rarely in my eyes do they do anything wrong. But I was really, really, really surprised to like this fragrance because I'm not a cherry girl. Like, I'm just not. But on the back, here are the notes of this. And I've talked about it in some of my videos before. So, burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, um, some sort of wood. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then patchouli. Anything with patchouli, count me in. Patchouli is just a note and a fragrance that I feel like warms it up, makes it sexy, and, like, I can smell it. Like, I swear to you, I can walk in Sephora and you can give me, like, a billion different perfumes and say, go pick the ones that have patchouli. And I can tell you, I just got a nose for it. But anyways, child. So, there's something about this fragrance that's like, yes, there's a cherry sort of vibe, but not in a medicinal way. In a very sexy way. This, to me, is a very sexy date night scent. Um, I actually wore this on date night probably, like, I don't know. I guess it was, like, a month ago. A month and a half. I guess it was a month ago. Um, but anyways, to me, it just gives like a very 
there's just, it's just different again it's a kaoli fragrance so it's middle eastern it's developed there it's more of like their sort of scents rather than over here we have like florals and like sweet florals gourmand sort of vibes this is just a different kind of scent the cherry in there is like the top note i want to say and so it's just got a hint of cherry enough to be like oh it's a cherry fragrance but the praline in there sweetens it up so it's not a bitter cherry then you have the palo santo in there so it's just like a um a little bit woody but not again not in a sandalwood way just in a way that brings it down an element a little bit then the patchouli in there again a warm sexy scent so it's like a warm sexy cherry sort of vibe it's like if you were a cherry okay hear me out you know how like the mr potato heads like you'll see them and they have clothes on a cherry black slinky dress cute pair of heels versace sunglasses the little ones you know the ones little versace sunglasses middle part like these same sort of obs sexy cherry would make any sense here come on it's a sexy cherry. I don't know what I used to say. It's, just, it's a sexy cherry. Sexy cherry. Okay, moving on. This was actually a little bit more affordable. This is the Versace Versace Crystal Noir. Um, Versace loves nothing more than to be extra with their packaging. I don't mind it. I had heard everybody and their mom talk about this fragrance. I follow a lot of fragrance um, like channels on YouTube. And so many men rated this fragrance so highly. Like so highly. And I was like, well, I'll be dang. I'm buying it. So to me, it's a very different fragrance. I'm actually going to look up the notes of this because I want to like be able to, I don't know, give you a little bit more of like information about this because to me, it's not, it's not an everyday kind of scent. Like it's a very, like I've worn this, I think twice. And it's something that I do want to have in my collection. Like obviously I'm telling you about this fragrance, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, you have to have this for your everyday fragrance. So if you're looking for something to just like add in, this would be perfect. So the base is sandalwood, cashmere, vanilla, and heliotrophine tropon i don't really know how to pronounce that middle tuberose frangipani i don't what is this what are you jasmine top black currant black fig and violet i just i just got it i literally just got the best description of this if velvet had a smell this is what it would smell like i'm not talking about crushed velvet remember when that was a thing it should have been anybody that wore crushed velvet capital punishment not really. Calm down. But I hate crushed velvet. I really do. Um, but this, like a deep red velvet curtain or like, you know, like just a, just velvet in general. This is the way velvet would smell. If velvet had a smell, like a universal, all velvet smells this way, this would be it. No lie. It's phenomenal. It just feels elegant, sexy, and date night. It is a date night scent. It's not to be worn in the day. If you wore this in the day, I'd be like, you need to calm down. You need to calm down right now, actually. You're done. You're done. Okay, moving on to the next one. I love a Tom Ford fragrance. I love a Tom Ford fragrance. There's something about him that is just sexy. He's never made a fragrance that was just like mediocre and not sexy. Anytime my man's Tom comes out with a fragrance, you can rest assured, you can rest assured, it's going to be a sexy fragrance. Men, women, whatever, doesn't matter. I got Chase the um, Ombre Leather Eau de, Eau de Parfum for Christmas, and I could no longer wait to give it to him. So I gave it to him for absolutely no reason last week. Just whatever. Gave him a cute note. Got him some candy and stuff. Gave it to him um, because I get excited. And I was like, he is going to smell so good. He wears it like every day. And every day I'm like, you do be smelling delicious, actually. So anyway, this is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. The Black Orchid perfume actually is not that bad. Compared to like a lot of the Tom Ford fragrances, Black Orchid, Violet Orchid, um, the gold one, I don't remember what it's called. They're not that bad. Again, date night fragrance. To me though, this is just such a very sexy feminine scent. Like this reminds me of like you're walking into a very nice restaurant. The guy is wearing a suit. He opens the door before you. Then you walk in, you're wearing black classy heels. And it's not like a Louboutin. It's like a, oh, Lord, I don't know. It's not a Louboutin though. Like you don't need to like have red bottoms to show somebody like your worth or your wealth. It's just like these are extremely expensive. You have a Birkin or a Kelly. That, that's what this smells like to me. It's like you got a Birkin or you got a Kelly. You know what I mean? It just smells like a very expensive woman and a very sexy, I have my crap together, don't mess with me, I'm not putting up a front, I'm not dealing with your bull crap sort of vibes. It just smells so good. There's just something about this that's just like sexy woman. Like, 
sexy woman. Julia Roberts, pretty woman sort of vibes. Sexy woman sort of vibes. And it lasts so well. This is one of my longest lasting fragrances in the entire world. There's something about it in the, in the notes of this that are just so deep and very, I mean, like it is like a black orchid. Like I cannot think of a better name for this because it's like, you would think orchid, like delicate flower. You think black, sexy, like masculine, strong, like maybe, um, I don't know, like all the things that you would think of like the shade black, like strong willed, stubborn, whatever it is. And then you put the orchid and it's like the perfect mesh between feminine and masculine in one. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I love it, love it, love it. If you're going to pick two up though, you already know Commodity, Milk, and Letta 22 Auris. Um, they're just beautiful. I live, breathe, and die for these. I love wearing them every single day. I love Love Fest Burning Cherry. It's just a sexy cherry scent. I love mixing my fragrances. You guys know this. I just, I live, breathe, and die for them. Make sure if you haven't seen my other video about the fall and winter fragrances that you go watch that because I still love and stand by those. They're phenomenal. So that's it though. I will have all of them linked down below for you guys to purchase. Let me know if you're going to purchase any of them, please, because I feel like I'm a fragrance girl. You know what I mean? So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. What? Make sure to like and subscribe before you leave because it would really mean the world to me. And I hope you all have a fabulous day.